Up in that year 2000, will the air we breathe be clean or thick enough to cut with a knife? New Center for Environmental uh, Specialist Steve Anderson says it may all be up to us. Will this be the scene in the year 2000? A dirty, smoggy, pollution-choked city? Or maybe Denver will look more like this, much as it does now. One thing is certain, Metro Denver will be much larger by the year 2000. The population will rise from around 1.8 million today to over 2.3 million people. With the added people will come more cars, over 70% more by the start of the next century. That will likely mean longer rush hours that will start earlier and earlier. You know, you want to see Denver of tomorrow, you go to Los Angeles of today. We are not doing anything different than Los Angeles is doing going to be making it a smoggy, unlivable, sprawl-filled, stop-and-go, gridlocked, congested uh, metropolitan area. Projections by the State Health Department show a decrease in carbon monoxide pollution until about 1995, and then some worsening to about the point it's at now in the year 2000. At that time, we may see some cleaner burning cars on the road. Electric cars have shown a lot of promise, but major problems with batteries will have to be overcome. The use of hydrogen is largely experimental now, but pollution from hydrogen-powered vehicles is almost non-existent. By the year 2000, this area's number one pollution problem will be that dingy-looking brown cloud. Some of the recent estimates go on the order of 5 to 10 percent increase in number of days in which you may not be able to see the mountains or that the mountains will be so discolored that they will look sort of the snow will look rather yellow on the, the mountains. I think that is something that our kids are going to point their fingers at and they're going to say, you ruined, you were trustees of the Denver metropolitan area during a crucial point in its history and you screwed it up. One of the major contributors to the brown cloud is wood burning and by the year 2000 we'll be burning about twice as much wood as today. Big Brother is already speculating that by the year 2000 such things as building restrictions, no burn days or even banning fireplace use is possible. So in the year 2000, even with all the technology and all the strategies in place, you'll still be told that it's you that has to make the difference by driving less and by not using your fireplace. Those changes in lifestyles and personal sacrifices will either be requested of you or they'll be demanded of you by the law. Steve Anderson, Environmental Specialist, New Center 4.